Ever since, the idea of leaving Earth has fascinated the human race. With the first man walking on the moon, space technology has entered our daily lives. Today's modern society would be unimaginable without it. GPS navigation, disaster monitoring, television broadcast and weather forecasting all rely on space engineering. Now why would a massive open online course on space technology be interesting for many students? As we have seen, modern society strongly depends on space technology and there are many interfaces to other disciplines. For example, you could be a software engineer working on a navigation application for a smartphone and for that a basic understanding on how the space segment of GPS works might be helpful. Or you're a medical scientist who wants to conduct research on the International Space Station. You need an idea on what environment to expect. Also, the growing number of objects orbiting around Earth is not only a technical issue, but does also have many political and legal implications. Today, not only the global players are involved in the space business. Reports show that the number of countries with satellites in orbit increased strongly in recent years, with today counting more than 50. The point is, wherever you are in the world and whatever field you work in, the chance you will have something to do with space technology is better than you might think. So let's talk about the contents of this course. Briefly, we will cover the fundamentals of space technology and its adjoining subjects. We will start at the solar system and the space environment and we will then have a look how to bring a satellite into orbit around Earth or even beyond. Since most space applications are based on satellites, we will then have a somewhat closer look into satellites and their subsystems. Further topics will be the utilization of space, from human spaceflight to television broadcasting. Besides the technical aspects, we will also highlight subjects like space politics, how to manage a space project and space law. So what makes Technische Universität Berlin the right university for such a course? Well, TU Berlin has experience in teaching space technology since 1963 and with the recent launch of the 10th satellite and more than 40 years accumulated experience in satellite operations, TU Berlin ranks among the leaders in the field of university satellite missions. And this knowledge is also reflected in the course. Every module of the course will have an introduction and theory based on video, audio and reading material. The theory will be supplemented by real-life examples. Exercises and multiple choice tests will help you to assess your learning outcome. We will introduce basic software tools commonly used in space engineering. To encourage interchange between students, peer-to-peer -peer methods will be applied. Since this course is suited for people from many different backgrounds, there are no prerequisites other than a basic understanding of math. Now if you think that the fundamentals of space technology will help your future career or you're just interested in the subject, this course is a good point to start.